Yo, so we about to get in these markets right quick and try to make at least four to five hundred dollars. All right. So I've been messing around on this uh, AUDCHF. You feel me? Just just marking it up. I already made some money today, but I feel like these are gonna be my last few trades. You know, off of this thousand dollars, I've probably made about twelve, fifteen thousand. Like I just. Been nonstop withdrawing off of this thousand dollars weekly. The very first time it was around when I it's in my group too. If you're in my group, you'll see it posted at the top when I withdrew seventy five hundred and then I left the fourteen hundred. Then I had lost four hundred and left it at a thousand. Got got it up to a fifteen hundred pretty much every week, uh, and just been doing that. So yeah, made a lot off of this thousand. So just to goes to show that you don't need a whole lot to get this thing popping. You feel me? So. Tax refunds is coming for some of y'all. So, hey, good old thou while get you right. But, yeah, I'm just, just marking up right quick on the H1, just trying to see which, you know, what what pair I really want to get in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's giving me the plays. I'm trying to see if I want to go out the gate. I got to be careful because 1000 can go quick at a $100 trade. So, I really want the first one to go, and I want it to be precise entries. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just kind of seeing if any of these setups is giving what they're supposed to give. You feel me? Are the setups giving what they're supposed to give? Sometimes you got to really be patient in these markets because I tell you, if you rush it, it'll get ugly real quick. Now, this looks like one of the ugliest pullbacks. I do believe that this is going to end up going back up only because of we got a pull back here, came down, shot way past the rest of these. So I think I'm just going to do a five-minute joint. I'm going to do four minutes, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Just like that out the gate. Four-minute trade saying that the market is going to go up in the next four minutes. If it don't, I'm cooked and baked chicken. But if it goes, we really into this, we really in this money. So this zone right here in the middle is a H1. So that could be a hard bounce. But I'm hoping that we can continue to push. But we are on a downtrend too. I gotta keep that in mind as well. Hopefully four minutes is enough and it's not too long. If it is enough, that's perfect. But I really feel like I should have did my two minutes like I normally do, how the market is looking currently. But if this continues, then we in the game. You know what I'm saying? And usually, like I said, the market is really unpredictable. And I know on Forex pairs, the retrace would be crazy. So hopefully, we, we do what we need to do. All right, so... So far, looking good, though. We're in a good position. We're in a good spot. As long as he stay on up there, that was a heavy push right here. This candle gave us a heavy push. So hopefully this one retrace and go ahead and go back up and push to this next zone, and then we're going to be all right. If not, it's ugly. You know what I'm saying? But so far, we're looking like it. But this is how you can know um, potential break of structure. It's because, like I said, we got the small pullback. Then this this came is lower. I mean, this is lower than this right here. And then this part right here became way higher than over here. If it would have stayed low, we would have kept going down. But since it shot on out, pulled back pretty much close to the zone, we expect another pullback to go up. You know what I'm saying? To at least push on up and reconnect. So that's what I'm hoping for. I got about a minute and 50 Something seconds left, which is still a long time on these charts, as y'all know. But, uh, yeah, this was one of them faith moves. But I will show you that I have been moving money over. I got $682, which I did within a day uh, of trading because I had to go stew, just like I just went stew just now. So, so far, so good. We are looking good. As long as we stay up there, I need a stress-free trade. You feel me? That's what it's all about. I got a lot of time. I don't think there's no more news right now. I hope not. Unless it's going to go in my favor. Yeah, I don't think there's no more news. So 
We shouldn't be getting no crazy spikes. But hopefully this zigzag uh, don't push this thing all the way down here. Hopefully we push up some more. But we are, I do see a little zone right here. So, so far this whole time we've been smooth selling. But the retracement is here, it looked like. Okay, now we still pushing. We still pushing. Yeah, stay on up there. That's where you need to stay at. It said like the longest 40 seconds of my life. But we in a good position, so I'm chilling. I am chilling. I like these kind of trades, the ones that don't stress me out. See, when I be on them calls, y'all, them calls, boy, let me take them live calls. It be stressing me out. The market be wanting to play, but then when I be by myself, I, it just, I just be getting these smooth trades, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, boy. Look at God. Look at how he do your boy. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Hey, these are the kind of trades you need right here. Every now and then I go a little risky. Now, that's a beautiful, beautiful setup. Now, I'm about to move this money over. And wow. Wow. Just like that. Oh, I don't got to put the dot zero, zero. Confirm. And that puts your boy at how much take home? $1,104. And I still got one more day to trade. All right, so now let me explain something to y'all. Basic market structure and basic support and resistance will get you every single time. Now, if this particular trade right here decides to bounce and drop for another pull back to here and then go back up, then I could have got in on that too. But I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm staying away. But... I'm telling you, just know this market structure. I told y'all, make sure you mark your chart up right, and that way you can see it. You're using this Keltner channel to make sure you monitor what the trade has already done before and then potentially repeat. You know what I'm saying? So what I mean by this Keltner is that you can see that we came through the middle of this Keltner channel right here. We came through the middle, all right, and we came back to the middle, stopped, turned around, came close to the middle, stopped, turned around, came close to the middle, stopped, turned around, and it kept doing that. So you could have been eating off of this this uptrend this whole time. Every pullback, buy, we weaken up here. You could sell if you want to, if you want to counter turn trade. But if you just like, I want to trade with the trend, you could just do that. But that's how I monitor my trades. But now we broke structure, meaning we're no longer doing what it was doing. We kind of coming through the middle now. All right, coming through the middle. Still kind of respecting going a little bit below and going up. Now we all under it, all under the middle. So now it's kind of breaking structure. But the thing to note on this is it's still an uptrend. So it may have came down a little bit, but the candles are still above the 200. So it gave us that bounce and that, that go. You feel me? So I've been looking over here, I think. But, yeah, so this is, this is a trade I could have got in as well, but I'm not going to be greedy. Uh, I've... I've Gotten my money out this thing, and I got one more day to trade, and I'm already $1,100. So that's a good setup, a good trade, y'all. And God is good all the time. You feel me? Um, but yeah, so if you're not trading live with us, you should. Uh, the markets was tweaking earlier today, and I was, I should have actually called this call, but I just needed to make a video because I haven't uploaded a video over here um, in a minute. But the markets was tweaking bad earlier today. So we got off the call early, and I wasn't even going to get in, but I was like, I need to make a video for the tube. So got to make one for y'all, so you know what I'm saying, for the peoples. But yeah, so make sure you get in the groups with us, live trade with us. We live trading Forex, and we live trade. And I'm salty because I could have got in on Forex too. That's what I keep forgetting to do. But usually I'll trade Forex simultaneously with this and um, make profits on both, but that's all good. But yeah, so... Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the videos. Get get me in the algorithm so more people can be blessed. You feel me? Because that's all I'm trying to do. 2024 is make sure y'all can eat too. All right? Holla at your boy. It's your boy, J Cash. Let's get it.